Hello everybody and welcome to the very first foot painting video. It is of course Easter themed. So the first step is to put down a base layer. Usually this will be white because it's a lot easier to work on a white background. You can get uh, stronger colors and you don't have to worry about another color shining through. So we're just going to cover the toes and the bottom of the foot and everything. And I have already thought out about how I want the ears to be. So that's why there'll be a bit of ball spots on the toes. Now we are working on the outline and this is very important, especially when you're doing sort of cartoon characters like I'm doing here, then it's going to be a lot easier to make sure the design doesn't get lost by putting down an outline and as you guys probably recognize from comic books and cartoons usually the outline is black or um, yeah I would say mostly black if you're going to do an outline because that way it'll stand out and black is quite a strong color so nothing else is going to seep through it. So I'm also doing an Easter basket with Easter eggs because this is the Easter Bunny and there's quite a few different steps in this process and it can get really messy. So hopefully as I keep on doing this sort of feet painting or body painting or whatever I will get better at the steps and making sure that my colors don't get muddy and all that sort of stuff. So this is usually considered the easier part where you fill in everything with the color that you want but because I'm not using proper body paints then the colors can get very messy and that's something that I've been struggling with but I'm going to be waiting to see if I can get any um, more funds to buy body paint and do a better job. But obviously I don't want to go out and do that if nobody's interested in the videos. So anyway, I am doing my best, but it does mean that certain colors I have to redo and go over um, but that's fine it's all part of the process mm, in regards to how my Easter has been it's been pretty okay I've done a lot of stuff um, I sort of made a list at the start of the weekend about what I wanted to do I wanted to finish off the world atlas puzzle I had 2,000 pieces so I finished that off and then I have prepared some other video editing uh, segments that aren't ready to go up but it just makes it easier if I get started on it now and then obviously doing this video was on my list and I have other videos like this prepared or filmed but I have to edit them together and and that's something that is also on my list but this is the very first step because it's about time that I started putting it up because I told everybody about a foot challenge and here it is the eyes are the most difficult part always because it can really make or break a character you could have a character that's like really sloppy in the limbs and everything but if the eyes are, are really captivating then you're not really going to have a problem. So here with my toes I tried to do like a one ear sticking up and then the other ear folded over. So when I've been looking at body art and feet painting that's been something that I thought was really fun is when people create like an illusion with how their foot or body is bent. 
So that's what I've been doing to make it more fun, more interesting, trying to figure out, you know, how do things look? You know, how do you create the illusion that you want? So this is obviously quite a basic illusion, uh, but it's, you know, the step in a process and I look forward to coming up with more clever things like this and trying out all sorts of different illusions and things. A, oh yeah, so I, I've actually done a bit of research in regards to that. Saving photos that I've seen online and different ideas and getting prepared for more videos. Because the most difficult thing about YouTube is that you can't really just plan it week by week. You really have to plan ahead because otherwise you just run out of time and it's stressful in that way. Um, but if you have ideas planned out and you know how you're going to get it filmed and get it edited, then the whole process just goes really well. Um, and I'm kind of surprised that more YouTubers don't talk about it. Um, because I really do wonder how some of them get all of that work done, you know? <laughs> And now we're up to the final details. So this usually means um, tidying up the lines, for example, uh, adding sort of a glimmer to the eyes with dots of white and just trying to make sure that the expressions are looking fine and, and, and not scary or anything like that. Unless you're going for a scary rabbit, then of course you can do that. But with any sort of painting, usually these things are like the very, very small things, uh, like little dots of light or, or other things, um, maybe working a little bit more on, on the shadow or just things that the, the painting itself looks completely fine. But there's usually just a little touch of something extra that you can add and then you'll be done with the painting and in my case ready to do a photo shoot and then I put the photos up on Patreon and everybody can enjoy them there. So this getting the painting done and filming it is only one part of the process and then the other part is taking photos for my patrons and that is quite a lot of fun actually because uh, I'm kind of more used to doing it now so <laughs> I kind of know like what pose and stuff I want to do and then obviously it's fun with these characters on my feet it adds an extra element that I definitely appreciate Here is the final rabbit and I took photos for my Patreon. So if you are a patron, then you can go and check those out. For everybody else, I hope that you have a wonderful Easter and come back and join me for my next foot painting video or any other video that I upload. Looking forward to it. See you next time. Happy Easter. Glad Posk.